Uh, first, let me thank the uh, American friends of uh, Magan David Adon uh, for the vital work that they do uh, throughout Israel, and particularly uh, Mark, um, who is my friend. Um, you've done a great job, and uh, you really are making a difference in saving lives. So uh, when you turn out the light tonight, the last time you look in the mirror, just pinch yourself, and so you really are doing something wonderful. Um, we are all concerned about the very real threats that face Israel today. Uh, MDA provides critical support to the civilian victims of Hezbollah rocket attacks in towns and cities in the north and continues to serve communities in the south that are at risk of uh, Qassam missiles. And tomorrow I'm going to visit Esterot, a town that uh, knows firsthand the tragic consequences of terrorism and the new uh, MDA emergency medical station that you're building there will really fill an urgent need for that region. Uh, the uh, MDA station here in Jerusalem, the largest of its kind in Israel, has been a critical resource for residents of this historic city. It provides emergency medical services and disaster relief 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and has done so during some of the most difficult times in Israel's history. As the sole blood supplier for the Israeli Defense Forces, MDA is also a lifeline for those who risk their lives for freedom and the sovereignty of Israel, the Israeli state. The renovation and expansion of this regional center, including a blood bank, volunteer and training facilities, full service clinic, and new conference space will help equip MDA to deal with the needs of Jerusalem's growing population and improve the delivery of life-saving services. And I'm particularly pleased to see that that expansion will include a new GPS control system to dispatch and manage Jerusalem's fleet of emergency vehicles. In New York City, we have just launched a parallel effort to harness the power of life-saving technology, and it really has made a big difference. We've reduced the response time in New York City to get an ambulance to people in need by uh, close to half a minute, which is a very big percentage of the time it takes to get there, and they've had similar success here uh, throughout this country. Uh, in Israel and New York, supporting the efforts of our first responders is one of the most important things that we can do, and uh, I think, uh, Mother, I speak uh, for the whole family, uh, I think our father would have, uh, my father, Marjorie, and my father would have uh, he would really have a smile on his face. Uh, he knew something about taking care of others. Uh, during World War II, he was an air raid warden in uh, Boston, a small town uh, community just outside of Boston, and he took his responsibilities very seriously. And I remember as a kid playing with his air raid warden helmet. Uh, for those of you that don't remember in America, there was uh, an issue of getting the lights out at night in case uh, that we were going to be bombed, and what would you do in an emergency? And uh, while I was uh, too young to remember World War II, being born in 1942, you remember World War II? You remember World War I? Yes, she does. Um, I think uh, in my family there's always been a belief that uh, uh, service to others is uh, something that we all have to do. Uh, my, uh, our parents taught Marjorie and me about giving back and it's a lesson that hopefully we've passed on to our children. Um, one time uh, I remember my father telling us that uh, discrimination against anybody is discrimination against everybody. And uh, in his small way, they didn't have a lot of money, but in a small way they supported a lot of organizations that still exist today and that uh, my sister and I and our family supports. I've tried to follow the example of uh, our parents um, and uh, my three, two nieces and one nephew, Marjorie's three kids, one of them's here, Gabrielle, welcome, and uh, my two daughters, uh, Emma and my other daughter, Georgina, who couldn't be here, I think all have that feeling that we have a responsibility to give back and to help others. Uh, and uh, we want to thank the American Friends of MDA for giving, this, uh, giving our family the opportunity to really make a difference. Uh, and uh, having uh, my father's name on a building here and my mother's name on a few floors at uh, Hadassah University Hospital uh, really will uh, 
give us a presence in Jerusalem that will uh, our family will think about all the time. Uh, like so many other Jews, Israel represents a dream fulfilled. And uh, during uh, my father's lifetime, he never had the means or the opportunity to visit this country, but its existence was important to him. Uh, for those that don't remember, Israel was really formed in Queens, in uh, New York City, uh, many years ago, in a building that still stands. And uh, like many Jews, we mark special occasions like my bar mitzvah by planting trees here in Israel. And whenever I come, I see some of those trees as I'm driving up from the airport, and I wonder, was that one of the trees that was planted in honor of my bar mitzvah? I hope so. Um, tree would be pretty big by now, actually. Uh, over the past 60 years, uh, the hope of uh, Israel has taken root and shown the world that uh, freedom-loving peoples uh, will endure and prosper and thrive, but that freedom does not come cheaply. Sadly, uh, Israel has had to fight for its very existence from the day it was founded, and um, something like an MDA station is needed for not just civilian casualties because we get older or have automobile accidents. Uh, in Israel, there is always the threat of terrorism. And we in America understand that we have an obligation to help Israel. I've always thought that uh, as Israel goes, so will go America. And so will go the ability to practice our religion and say what we want to say and be in charge of our own destiny. Uh, so the MDA station that we are transforming today, I think, is just another symbol of the promise of uh, Eretz Israel. And uh, for over half a century, uh, the U.S. and the Israel have worked together to meet the common challenges that, uh, and to share the common values of freedom and democracy and peace. And standing together, we will achieve that. Uh, so thank you once again for this wonderful ceremony. Uh, it would be easy to look at my support for this project as a dedication to my father, but I really uh, consider this an important facility, this was facility, a gift from him, because after all, he was the one that taught my sister and I to do things for others. So, uh, as both the proud mayor of New York City and a proud son, I am honored to dedicate the William Henry Bloomberg MDA Jerusalem Station today. Uh, may it provide comfort and care to the people of Israel for the many years to come. And thank you so much. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Mayor, for your inspiring words on behalf of all of us. Incidentally, tomorrow we celebrate Tu Bishvat, the New Year of the Trees which is an excellent opportunity for you to plant the tree with your own hands, <laughs> not by proxy. Okay.